Hello, hello, you guys, and welcome. So I want to talk a little bit about about dousing rods, and um, this is my second pair that I bought from Jeff and NCPD, and um, he have uh, made the case for the dousing rods better this time. So I'm happy. Um, when you when you use the dancing rods, what is important to think about is that you hold your hand super still uh, because it's so easy to influence them. It's not difficult at all. It's like um, it happens uh, so fast uh and so easily so you have to be very very particular particular with how you hold um the dousing rods okay so what i usually do when i try to communicate uh with spirit i always try to relax relax my hands okay and what happens is when you get a connection you are going to feel that in your hands but also when it comes to the dowsing rods and what happens as well is that the spirit will sort of how should i say check the energy out check the space out that you're communicating at uh just to get a feel of how it is you know what's happening and 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 so on and when it gets a hang of it you there are times that you're going to feel things um energy wise it can be sometimes electricity feeling it can be a feeling of uh, you know heaviness uh and so on so let's turn uh let's turn the dowsing rods on and see if uh, the spirits would like to communicate and as you can see, I can change colors uh, with um, uh, with uh, on the dowsing rods. And you have the blue. Next one will be, I think, the green. Then you'll have pink or purple. Then red. Okay, and that's it. So uh, some spirits are scared of the red color. So there are times that I do not use it and we'll change the color to green or uh, or blue or even pink so it depends on you know the spirit that you're communicating with and i like that this type of dancing rods but i also like the the usual ones as uh, as well so when a spirit communicates with you what is important for you to think about is that um um you relax when it comes to your hands and try to sit uh, if you're sitting or if you're standing try to hold one rod a little bit higher than the other one because when when they communicate they can you know cr clash together so now it's me moving the rods with my hands so I'm, I just want to feel how the area is okay so now that i know uh let's see if there is any spirit that would like to communicate and so i invite the spirit who would like to communicate with me please come through come forward and check out my energy if you need to use my energy you can do that you're welcome to do so so you're always you know telling the spirit what what it can expect what it's allowed to because it's you having the control not the spirit okay you ha always have to remember that so it is pointing towards one side now is it where you're standing now if that's a yes can you straighten first the the, the rods out can you straighten them out always ask that nothing that the spirit is uh, is uh, is there because it's um, pointing and oh it went behind me 
Can you straighten the rod out? Thank you. Yeah. Straighten the rods out. And I think that I do have a spread behind me because that's how it feels like. Okay, straighten the rods out. Both of them, please. Okay, so do you like the colors? Is the colors okay on the rods? Do you like them? Are you okay with them? Yes, okay, thank you. Can you straighten this, this uh, rods out? Straighten them out. Yeah, straight them out so that they can stand straight. Both of them, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, so is it a female that I do have with me? If a yes, cross the rods. If a no, open the rods. So as you guys can see, it's a female. Thank you. Can you straighten the rods out? Yeah, straight the rods out. Thank you. And before you ask a new question, you always ask the spirit to straighten the rods out for you. That's very, very important. Both of them, please. Straighten the rods out, please. Come on. Thank you. Keep on. Straight the rods out for me. Thank you so very much. A little bit more. Come on. A little bit more. Okay, perfect. And I can feel the energy in between and the energy is super strong. So you're a female. Um, are we related? If a yes, cross the rods. If a no, open the rods uh, outwards. Are we related? And that's a yes. Thank you. Can you straighten the rods out again? Yeah, straighten them out. Perfect. Thank you so very much. Can you point towards where you're standing? Can you point with both of the roads where you're standing? Now, now let's see what it will. So it is pointing towards Okay, so it's pointing towards my bedroom. Are you standing close to my bedroom? Can you straighten the rods out, please? Can you straighten the rods out? Can you straight them out for me? And the other one as well, thank you. Straight the rods, both of them, come on. Come on. You can use my energy, thank you so very much. More, okay, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Are there more than one spirit here? If that's a yes, can you cross one rod? Let me know how many. So that's one. Two.
So I do have two spirits at my home. Is that correct? If that's a yes, can you cross the rods? Can you cross the rods? Okay, thank you so very much. So I do have two spirits at my place. Straighten the rods out for me both, please. Thank you. I, am I related to both of the spirits that is at my home? Am I related to them both? If a yes, cross the rods. If a no, uh, open the rods outwards. Wow. So I'm not related to both of them. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you. Can you straighten the rods out for me? Perfect. You're just perfect. So the spirits that are at my place, is it? No, straighten the rods out. Thank you. Straighten them out. Come on. Thank you. So the spirits that are at my place, are they both females? If a yes, cross. If a no, open the rods outwards. Are both the spirits females? Okay, so as you can see, that's a no. Thank you so very much. Okay, can you straighten the rods out again for me, please? Okay, so the uh, am I related to the female spirit? I, am I family member to this? Uh, the the female oops, the female spirit uh, spirit is she family to me? Oof, someone po pushed my hand. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the manly spirit, can you straighten the rods out? Straighten them out. Thank you. And the manly spirit, I'm not related to him, right? We are not family members. Okay. So I'm not family member to the main manly spirit. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Are you both here in in uh, in a peaceful way? If a yes, cross the rods. If a no, open the rods outwards. Okay, peaceful. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Can you open the rods out for me again? Straighten them out. Both of them. So as you can see, I'm very firm with how I ask my questions when I want to communicate with the spirit. This is how I do it. I wait. Um, and then I always have another tool um, to use sometimes with. And I ask them to, you know, use someone else, something else. When I don't have anything on my table at the moment, you guys, that I can set off. Um, well, that's weird. I didn't think about it. I don't have anything. Let me, let me bring something. Um, let me bring something because I don't have anything on my table to set, to ask them to use. So let, let's bring a thing.
Okay, you guys, so back. Now I did get Jeff's new product out. Oh, let me put it on the... I do have ghost balls as well with me. So let's turn... Okay, perfect. So let's have some ghost balls close. Okay. So, I'm going to pick up the dowsing rods. Now that I have something that this, uh, I can ask the spirit to use, to communicate through, uh, to give me validation or, you know, let me know that, hey, I'm truly here. I always ask them to set another device off. For me, so now I have some ghost balls, and I do have uh, Jeff's, uh, Jeff Eastman's and Susie's Eastman's new product from NCPD out. It's the new REM, para REM, and uh, spirits seem to love it. So, can you please? Uh, let's see if the spirit is here. Let me just um, uh, sit down so that. I am sitting in a good way and they can use the um, they can use my energy too. So if there is a spirit here, can you set up anything on the table? I do have um, I do have some ghost balls on it and I do have a parrem um, music box and I know that if it's you, mom, I know that you love the music box. Are you still here, mom? Can you straighten the rods out for me, please? Straight them out, both of them. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Okay, so uh, are you here, mom? And I'm getting a yes. Thank you. Thank you. Can you straighten the rods out? Back. Okay, perfect. Both of them. So if you are still here, mom, can you set up one of the uh, one of the things on the table for us, please? You have the music box there, uh, the parem. You have the ghost balls there. Can you set up something for us, please? Just to verify that you're here. So let go of the of the um, let go of the uh, of the dousing rods and set up another device for me. So can you verify that you're here? I'm going to put the dousing rods down. And let's see, can you verify that you're here by setting another device up for us? Look, if you go close to the REM pod here, it will make a sound. So can you finish that song, please? So can you go and touch that now? Or if you go close to the ball. Oh. I can't reach the bowl. If you go close to the bowl, it will also set off. So can you set something off for me, please? So that's me, you guys, that was me. Now I'm asking the spirit to do so. So can you set the, the, the bowl or, or the machine off for me, please? Can you do that? So I'm waiting for a verification, you guys. So let's see if it will, uh, if, we, if it will show that it's here or not. 
Hopefully it will, I guess. I'm waiting. Yay, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh my goodness. You're just great. Oh, look, you guys. Oh my God. They love this little machine. And as soon as I have more money, I'm going to buy one more so that I have two of them because spirits love them. So you guys, if you don't own the new Pararem uh, light, you should get yourself one because it's worth all the money. Jeff's products and CPD's products are one of the best, greatest products that you know one can use. Uh, yeah, and do you agree with me? Can you set the Pararem off again, please? Can you set it off? Now that you know how it's functioning, can you go and touch the antenna? Can you touch the antenna? Can you go set off the ghost ball or something on the table? Again, I would appreciate that. Is it you, mom, who is here with me? Can you just answer yes or no? Can you set something off on the table for us, please? A ghost ball or, or the rod, whatever is easiest for you. Can you do that? Is it you, mom, who is here with me? So you can use my energy to set up the machine that is on the table. I'm trying, let's see if she will answer if it's her. Okay, is, is it the manly spirit that is here? Can you set up the ghost ball or, uh, or the machine? You have three ghost balls on the table. You can set either one of them off for me. Is that the manly spirit that's here? If that's a yes, can you set the ghost ball off? Or the machine? It doesn't matter which one. I would be happy with whatever, just to get a confirmation. Can you do that for me? Are you the manly spirit? That's the only thing that I will ask and I will not ask you to answer anything more. I appreciate you for taking your time to do so. So can you verify that you're here still? Can you verify? Can you set the, the, the uh, param off? Or the ghost balls. Maybe it is setting off the ghost balls and I'm not seeing it, you guys. You let me know in the comments if it happens or not. Can you set off the ghost ball? Can you do that, please? Are you the manly spirit that is here? If that's a yes, can you set up the ghost ball or, uh, or the machine? If you go to the blue light on top of the little machine here, you can set it off. Can you do that? It would be amazing if you did.
<coughs> Are you still here? Well, I, I have a spirit that do not want to verify. Verif uh, well, to verify that it's here. Can you just verify, please? Let, let's ask in Swedish. Är du kvar? I'm asking, are you still here? Är du kvar? Om du är kvar kan du sätta igång någon uh, apparat som är på bordet. Du har en, uh, en liten större apparat med olika färger. Sen har du tre stycken sådana här ghost balls. Tre bollar. Om du rör vid bollarna så kommer de att gå, eh, så kommer de att eh, gå igång. Kan du sätta igång dem? Någon av dem? Well, it doesn't want to set off anything. Well, it's okay. So you guys, this is a little bit about the dowsing rods and how to verify if a spirit is with you. Always have something more on the table or wherever you are so that the spirit can verify by using, um, by using um, a little bit more than, you know, one thing because then you'll know that you have truly someone there with you. And uh, when you have that verification, that's like super amazing. You know, when they answer, it, it makes you happy, joyful. It makes me happy anyways and joyful. So I hope that you liked the little video um, of, the, uh, of the communication. And uh, let's, let's, let's just say to the spirit, Thank you for communicating with me. I I so appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Are you still here? Are you still here? So as you guys can see, I don't have any communication anymore, either through dancing rods or anything. I mean, even the machine on the table and the bowls, nothing goes off. So it's quite still and I'm not doing anything. So, um, well, anyways, I don't know if you can hear me, but I want to say thank you for coming and communicating and uh, helping me to show how the dowsing rods uh, functions. Sending you a lot of love and peace. And uh, I want you to be in peace as well. And when you don't have any communication, you can just feel the stillness. It's like uh, there is no um, energy that goes through in your fingers. Uh, there is no energy that goes through your fingers, your hands, nothing. It's like, it's like a dead energy. I don't know how to say it better than that. I can't say it better than that. That's the only way I can say it in. And uh, I just love uh, uh, how this uh, things work uh, anyways. So you guys, till next time, blessings, take care. And let me know if you guys use the dowsing rods or the ghost balls or uh, the new Pararem light. And let me know about the new Pararem light because that's uh, always interesting to know how other people is using it and how it works uh, for them 
and let me also know um, how the dousing rods are working out for you as well okay until next time blessings and thank you for joining me let me just put the dousing rods back And I like that Jeff have um, fixed um, the thing for the dousing rods because uh, uh, they don't fall out so easily from, uh, oh, I have done it wrong. Okay, uh, they don't fall out so easily uh, as they used to do from the old one. If I knew that he did change them, uh, the the dousing rod holder, I would have asked him uh, to send me a new holding case because I have two pairs of them and I just love them, you guys. They are absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, but thank you for joining me and you guys have a great evening and take care. And that's it. Okay.